it's your Hoosier Mammal, and today we're going to try something new. Um, we're going to try our hand at making homemade granola. I'm going to do two different varieties, kind of just putting what I think looks good in it, so we shall see how it works out. There is kind of a basic granola recipe, I mean, you can find on Pinterest or what have you. But I'm adjusting it to the ingredients I think will make it good. So I will bring you over to the table where we have two separate bowls that we're going to be mixing up with the two different types of granola. Okay, to start off, we are going to add three cups of uh, just regular oatmeal to each bowl. And uh, These are not instant. You want rig, just the old fashioned rolled oats. I mean, I don't know what would happen if you used instant. I suppose it would might get like mushy or something, maybe. I don't know. these up. You can buy dates already chopped up, but I found that they kind of dry out when you do that. So I just bought regular dates and chopped them up myself. And some chopped pecans. And some brown sugar. We're going to add roughly, you know, about one and a half or one and a quarter cups, I think, is what we're going to put in here. Now I also wanted to add a little bit of honey to each one, just because I think it adds a good flavor. And we'll save the rest of that to put in the other one. Uh, it takes two egg whites. And you just mix all this up in a bowl. So you know, I've kind of separated some of the ingredients so you can see what I'm adding. This one has about three-fourths cup of avocado oil and a half cup of water. And that's what we're going to add to each one. And we're going to add a cup of flour to each one as well. Oh, I just... <laughs> I, see, that's what I get for leaving that spoon in there. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit of salt. <laughs> that was kind of funny. And some vanilla. Now you can add some other seasonings. You know, like I was planning on maybe putting some cinnamon in this one. And I thought, maybe that's just a little too much with the brown sugar. But you know what? I think I will add a little bit. Not a lot. Just a... Just a little sprinkle here. I don't know if it'll come out of the jar. There we go. Okay, so then you need to mix all that up. And these don't take very long. Uh, put them in uh, on a parchment lined cookie sheet. And, and you need to, to bake it at 300 for about 20 minutes, but about halfway through, you need to kind of like flip it around and stir it up a bit. Now, I thought about using raisins in this one, but I have the dates in the cupboard, and I thought, you know, I like dates better than do raisins, actually. So... Let's just see what happens here. Now, this is a little tricky to stir up. So, what I think I'm going to do on that one is put, like, what dry ingredients I'm going to use first before I add the egg whites and the oil and stuff. 
and kind of mix that up first before I add it. That way I don't have to mix it up as much. Okay, let's move to the other side then. Try not to make any more of a mess. Okay, so we know we've got the oats. I'm also adding into this one some coconut because this is going to be kind of a different flavor. All right, let's get the flour put in. Now I'm using a white sugar instead. That's gonna be enough of that with that coconut. And we're using almonds. And three striped strawberries. I thought the combination of almonds, strawberries, and coconut would be good. This is be a different, a little bit different. And I use the white sugar instead of the brown sugar, just because it's a little bit different flavors involved. Yeah, I think it's just easier to. Oh, that smells so good with the strawberries. Free dried free dried strawberries are so good. Um. I can't, I can't buy one of those freeze dryers that everybody has. They're, they're so expensive. Um, but boy, if I did have one, you just can bet I would be freeze drying strawberries. <laughs> kind of like breaking those up a little bit. Some of those strawberries are kind of big, big slices. Okay, now we gotta add the rest. Oh, let's add the salt first. And we'll add the rest of our stuff to this one, which is the oil and the water. And the egg whites. And a little bit of that honey. And vanilla. Well, that coconut kind of cooked up on me there, a couple places. Now, I almost didn't add the coconut, but I just thought there wasn't that many strawberries in that bag, and that's the only one I had. Uh, if I add a little coconut, that's going to kind of help with that. Okay, so now I'm going to spread this out on the cookie sheets, and... Um, Put it in the oven and I'll bring you back when it's about halfway through and we can see what it looks like at that point. Now here's how one of them looked after I stirred it up a little bit and I'm getting ready to put this back in the oven for another 10 minutes. Okay, so I took these out of the oven and now they have to cool and then we can just break them apart and, and uh, put them in containers. Um, I do have to admit a, to a mistake. <laughs> when I was busily trying to divide this up, I didn't realize till almost before I put them in the oven that I had basically doubled the recipe, but not with the oatmeal. So everything else was twice as much as it should have been. So what I did was I just added the additional oatmeal and now I have a second batch 
in the oven of each kind. So what does this have more granola? So that is what it is. Also, now this is not my mistake. When I was reading the, the basic recipe that I found on Pinterest, uh, it said to uh, uh, bake for just 20 minutes. And there's no way it's 20 minutes. It's longer than that. We're talking probably closer to 40 to 50 minutes total uh, to get this dried out and uh, to the point that it's, you know, granola instead of just raw oatmeal. So anyway, just heads up there. But uh, the papal has already been into it even before it cooled. And so he seems to enjoy it and I guess it's pretty good. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.